Almost single-handedly, Crimson Trace has made lasers a viable tool to increase the utility of handguns for personal defense by ordinary citizens. The unique aspect of the laser grip is it adds nothing to the gun that's not there already. The mechanism is embedded in the grip. When you take a hold of the gun and grip it naturally, the laser designator comes on. All you have to do is shoot when the dot is on your target. But the laser itself does nothing to illuminate or identify the target. It's merely a dot. So if you have a duty pistol or a carry concealed pistol that's equipped with a laser grip like this particular Glock is, you have, you have the dot, but if you want illumination, you need to attach an accessory light. Most are somewhat cumbersome and have separate independent on-off switches you must remember to manipulate. Now from Crimson Trace comes the light guard, an integrated light system that works the same as the separate laser system. This is not an integrated laser and light, this is purely a light. It is designed so that it activates instinctively when you grip the uh, gun, the same as the laser activates. And if the gun is equipped with a laser grip, you can have it on or off and operate independently. There are separate on-off switches for the light and also for the laser grip if you have them. This allows you to perceive that a possible threat may exist and looking into a dark hallway, you can easily illuminate and identify the threat while keeping your finger off the trigger until you determine the need to shoot. Currently, the new light guard system from Crimson Trace is available for Springfield Armory XD or XDM pistols, for the Glock system, and for Smith & Wesson M&Ps. More will follow. Sleek and narrow, good for the holster, adds nothing, instinctive to operate. What's not to like?